Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Justine, and I am doing the preschool Memoria Press curriculum with my three-year-old daughter. We just finished up week four, and I kind of want to walk you through what we are doing with the curriculum and how my daughter is doing with that. We start our day with prayer. We are a Catholic family, so I'm doing my own prayer. Although some of the prayers that we say are the same prayers that Memoria Press has. Um, then we say the Pledge of Allegiance and move on to Calendar. Calendar is going really well. Um, she, we, she has her own calendar here that she can do while watching me at the big calendar. And so she's mastered figuring out how to put the numbers on her own calendar. And as well as the days of the week, the season, and the weather. Alright, next we move on to recitation. Now recitation, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, I made my own recitation. Some of the things are similar to what Memoria Press has, and some of them are completely different that I've added in. For example, I wanted my daughter to know her full name, her gender, her age, birthday, my name, her dad's name, our address, how to spell her first and last name, and our phone numbers. Um, other things that are in there um, are like the alphabet, counting days of the week, um, and those things I will check off when we're doing lesson work. Um, we also have religion, so certain prayers that I would like her to have memorized, and nursery rhymes. So currently she has mastered two nursery rhymes and is currently working on learning her address. All right, and after recitation, we move on to the story, so the Big Red Barn. Now, for the Big Red Barn, while I read it, we are working on the oral language and fine motor pre-writing um, curriculum suggestions for the week. So, and she's been doing really well, and she, I think she actually enjoys reading the stories more with having all those questions and can you point to this? So she enjoys doing that, and it does get her to focus more on the lesson. All right, so after reading, we move on to kind of my own section. Um, and I have 30 baskets, green, red, and blue, and we do those daily. Handwriting, math, and phonics. So for handwriting, we're working on upper uppercase letters. Um, today we finished up with letter X. Now I spent an extra day on letter X because I didn't feel like my daughter really did that well yesterday with it. So I wanted her to repeat it. I didn't want to kind of just keep going to be like, oh, we finished. My goal is for her to really master the material before we move on and maybe it takes us longer but that's fine so we worked on the letter x and usually for letters i do the sandpaper letter where she traces it and then we have the tray and she traces the letter in the tray with her finger um and then i used a laminator and i laminated this Kumon uppercase letter handwriting. And as you can see from the top, this is what she was doing yesterday with her X's. Like she wasn't, even though she could do it correctly with the sandpaper letter and in the, I have salt in my tray. When it came to writing it on actual paper, she was having a hard time. So in the bottom, you can see our today. So there was a big, big improvement today, just repeating it. So our red basket is math. Now, 
you've been watching my videos, you will know that has been a little bit of a struggle for us. And I guess I'm kind of surprised. See, I have nine years teaching experience in an elementary classroom. So I taught first grade for two years, fourth for, let's see, four years, and then fifth grade for three years. Is that correct? Yeah, so that was nine years. So for her, she, she enjoys doing flashcards. So she's reading numbers one through 14. But what I'm finding is I purchased a lot of Montessori math, um, different math things to have. And I've been trying to rotate them just to see if, you know, she wants something different. And she doesn't really seem that interested. But what I have found is if I give her a worksheet, she's fine to sit down and do that. So for as much as I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm giving her worksheets, um, that seems to interest her. And I guess I'm going to look into a good math workbook for her age um, because she's not into the Montessori even though I spent money in getting the materials, um, she's not interested, so I'm going to move away and just hope that, you know, my next child will want to use that. Alright, so for phonics, this week we worked on S-R-I-M-P, and I do a three-period lesson with her with those four letters. Um, and that usually will take us a day because she already has her phonics down, but it's just like, I want to make sure she really has those four letters down. So the start of our lesson, we always, um, will sound out each letter and she knows all her sounds. Um, so then the next thing that I did was I made these clip cards where like here's a sock and at the bottom is S R I M P and she clips. She'll take um I have over all of these. She'll take a clothespin and clip the letter that it starts with. And she has gotten really good at these. Um so my rule is basically we work on a lesson until she's tired or she seems frustrated. So the first day, she did about half of these and didn't finish. So I gave them to her again the second day. She did all of them um, and got them right. So then we moved on to new clip cards. And we worked on um, work families. So for the end of the board. So let me see. All right. So we had app. It and it. And so she would pick up a card and it would be, this is a cap. So she would have to, to clip the right ending to the word on there. Um, so she did a few of these today. She didn't do a lot and we were kind of in a rush. We have something on Fridays that we go to. Um, so I let her do a few and then we kind of moved on with our day. So I'll give them to her again next week. Alright. And again, all our lessons are really relatively fast. Like calendars, five minutes maybe. Then we go on to the book. It's maybe five to ten minutes. Handwriting takes about five minutes. You know, I, so our day is really fast and it maybe takes us about an hour and an hour and a half to do everything for the day. All right. So the next thing we worked on is we, um, rotate brown baskets. So I have four brown baskets and they work on different preschool skills. So the first one we do, I rotate between colors and shapes. Um, she already knows them, so I'm giving her a little bit more difficult shapes, like octagon and three-dimensional shapes. But to go along with the book, I found these little 
red barn little cards and they have shapes on them and she we laid them all out on the floor and she matched them up so she enjoyed doing that the brown basket she seems to really enjoy doing This one was a little bit harder. This was an alphabet one. Um, so it's little chickens in a coop and they each have their uppercase and lowercase letter on them. And then there's all these little eggs with letters in uppercase and lowercase and she had to match them to the chicken coop. Now this one was like, she's done alphabet matching things before without any problems now this one she did kind of get bored there's a lot of cards it came with six letters per per chicken coop to match up um i cut it down to three but i think you know in the future like when i go to do this with my other daughter i'm going to do just two because you know, after a while, my daughter really got tired of, of matching things to this. We also review uppercase letters. Okay. Alright, and the third day is kind of our fine motor day. It's um, also where we work on scissor skills. And this is from uh, my first scissor books from Memoria Press. So she'll always start with a cutting page, and this is still her favorite thing to do. She enjoys using scissors. And to go along with our book theme for the Big Red Barn, I have these little animals, and it, um, they're little clip cards, and so they work on one-to-one -one correspondence. So this is a cat. She had to match it up to the cat, and instead of using the big clothespins, I use these really tiny clothespins that I got from the Dollar Tree. So it really focuses more on, gets her to use her index and thumb to, to clip them onto the card. So it's a little bit more work. Okay, so there was that. And so the fourth day, what we had was, um, I do kind of a, another math activity. So this one, I it's two-sided, double-sided. Um, so on one side, I have one to ten. And I got this from Fairy Poppins. And the other side is one through twenty. And I wrote basically numbers on little um, popsicle sticks that I already got colored. Um, from Walmart and they were the same price as the regular ones so and she basically had to match them up to the numbers that were on the fence sorry oh, we're moving soon and it will probably be nice in the next house because the classroom won't be in the guest room which is where it currently is now which shares a wall with them so She's trying to get out of her nap time right now. All right, so, all right, up, after we do the brown baskets, we move on to gross motor skills, and I did this just like the curriculum. My daughter had a lot of fun with it, so I actually let her go through the house doing this, and it was like move like the animals on the farm, like the horses, the piglet, the geese, butterflies so she had fun going through the house um and then for enrichment um one of the things that the curriculum has was going to drive in the country we kind of live in the country right now um visit a farm or other barnyard thing and Yesterday was my daughter's birthday, and I was hoping we could actually go to 
a farmer pumpkin patch yesterday but they are all opening up this weekend so we haven't gotten around to doing that um and so during enrichment time for this week i just made my own activities but we do plan on um going to visit a farm um fairly soon all right so the first day we did a memory match so i found these cards i'm not it says Creative Kitchen on one side, um, but I'll put a link to where I found them, and it's just like little farm animals that you had to match up. This was the first time that she has played Memory, um, so that took a little bit of practice, um, but those were cute, and it was fun to teach her kind of a new game. And we haven't really done a lot of games with her. She hasn't been someone who wanted wants to sit for an entire game. So this was nice because there weren't a ton of cards. So it was a short and sweet game. Alright, the second day I had some other cards that we put out on the floor and kind of moved them around. And she had to match um, the mama and the baby animal. And you could probably do the memory game with these as well. Um, we just did the matching. Uh, I'm missing one. What am I missing? Oh. Okay. And so then on the third day, we had these little... And I got um, these three, the mama and the baby. And this activity and the next one I'm about to show you all came from the same same download I got online and these were cows of different sizes and she had to put them in order from largest to smallest and smallest to largest so she did really well with that and then the last one are these little strips and it's which one is different so she just needs to to clip the one that's different and you can probably use a marker to circle or a counter to cover. It's whatever you want to do. She's really into using the clothespin, so that's why I kept with that. Alright, so that is our enrichment. Okay, so let's see. What else did I have? Enrichment. Alright, and then we move on to religion. Um, so for religion, we did, we did one lesson from Little Acts of Grace, and it was dressing for church, you know, how do we dress for church, and why do we dress up for church, um, and then we worked on Noah's Ark, and one thing I changed, because I talked about this in my previous video, was how my daughter was having a hard time with the hunter bible studies because there's a lot of words and not a lot of pictures so one thing we changed was i added i found uh on teachers pay teachers i'll put a link um someone has noah's art clip art and so basically we had all these little pieces like here's Noah and so as I was reading the story I would stop at certain points and we would start like taking the animals oh the animals are going into the ark and we'd walk the animals into the ark and it really does help her pay better attention and so she enjoys doing that so I will probably keep finding things like that um in the Noah's Ark clip art, there's a few that um, you had to pay for, but I did find one that was free. So most of the things that I print off the internet are free things. I I don't think I've paid for anything off the internet. I have purchased materials and workbooks and things that I've paid for, but if I get it off the internet, I try to get something that's free. 
All right, and then after religion, we do our closing song. So this week we did Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And then we end with our guardian angel prayer. So as far as the curriculum this week, I did a lot of the things that are in here. The only things I don't do are the alphabet and number lesson. And then um, the enrichment, we haven't gotten a chance to do that. But hopefully in the next week or so, probably not next week, but the following week, we might try to get out to a farm. Um, and it's mostly just what everything we have going on. We've been really busy. Um, so some of the upcoming things that we're going to start doing is um, I went ahead and I purchased the entire set of getting ready for the code from Explode the Code. So like I said, my daughter seems to be really into worksheets. Um, and as a teacher, I'm like, ah, oh, how did I create this child? <laughs> because I'm not a huge fan of worksheets. And, but she is. So I'm going to go along with it and um, go ahead and give her these workbooks to work on this year with phonics. And I guess it will help in the future because starting next year, I didn't want her to have a phonics workbook that she worked on every day. Um, so next week is kind of a review week for us. Um, and if you follow the curriculum, you'll know that it uses the four books that we've already read. And so you'll see some of the same activities come back. Um, and so I kind of use that as a chance to kind of give her, um, another chance to do some of the old activities. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.